guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna paint the front door today. I'm gonna start the vlog off. It's Saturday morning. I took a little bit of a video break this week. I got this fun little kit at the Dollar Tree. Guys, I love it. It has a brush, a glove, and a roller. It'll do my front door perfect. Then I can toss it away. I know, right? I've got my brother's dog today, so it's gonna be interesting how I'm going to uh, here, I'll show you if you can see it, which you can't, but I'll move you over. Here we go. So I put a baby gate in my front door so she doesn't escape on me, right? All right, I think what I'll do, paint the front door, and then maybe I'll take you around and show you all my fall stuff. Yeah. All right, I got the inside painted. I really like the dark in this corner. I got a rug that's also navy and gray, so it coordinates. Uh, my doors are looking royal blue in here, but they're navy. And I got a new handle I put on. Whoop, whoop. All right, I gotta run some errands. Okay, I'm at Walmart. I'm doing grocery pickup today. I thought it ooh, would just be easier and quicker. And I went to CVS and picked up a prescription. Oh. I have a four off of my next $20 purchase. Have to see what I want. What I was looking to go purchase was toilet paper, but it's not on sale anymore, I think because of the pandemic. So, I mean, I'm good for right this second, but I like to be stocked up. And laundry soap. I might be running low on laundry soap. I mean, I'm not really running low, but you know. So anyway, we're doing grocery pickup. We'll go home. We'll put it away. I got a video of my house as soon as I'm done decorating for fall. I got my doors painted. That made me so excited. And my new door handle put on. So this winter I won't be locked out of my house. Uh, so I got a new lock mechanism for my front door. And anything else exciting happened in my life since yesterday? I'm watching my brother's dog. So that's always fun. And I'm deciding if I'm going to go camping in the fall. I got a bag again. What did I get? A Walmart magazine. What is this? What is that? A sample of Cheetos mac and cheese. I'm sorry, what? Who knew that was a thing? I did not. A sample of Captain Crunch on the go. A granola bar. A blueberry strawberry oatmeal. Oh, it's Quaker. Duh, Lori, it says it on the outside of the package. But, I'm sorry, what? is that somebody will enjoy it and we'll be able to tell us what it tastes like how about that but i do love these little bags that they give me on occasion because um they're great pack lunches in all right let's go home hi guys we're back from our walmart grocery pickup and i ran into target i'll show you what i got and what they substituted uh, i got my regular sharp cheddar pepper jack they don't have swiss so i got munster we're gonna try that i don't know if i've ever had that before so we're gonna try it i got two cans of eight ounce tomato sauce um i think these are 50 cents i use them in my uh, indian butter curry oh so good love it and one can is you know a meal i asked for 36 eggs they must have been out so i get 60 which is going to be interesting I guess we'll do a lot of egg salad this week. Um, I picked up three bags of the caramels. I'm going to make a little Halloween treat for some of my friends. We're meeting for lunch, co-workers. And so I have a little treat in mind to bring for them. And then some for later to use when I have my party with my cousins. So I grabbed three bags. I may need one more. We'll see. I don't know how much each bag was going to make. That's what I need to figure out. And then to go with it, sweetened condensed milk, um, pork rinds, 
just a bag of those. I want to make, with this American cheese, I asked for Land Lakes. They didn't have it, but they had whatever this Sharp American cheese brand is. I don't know, but it's fine. It's still American cheese. So I'm going to make queso. I asked for salted caramel. They were out of the lilies, so I ended up with, they just substituted milk, which is fine. I'll bake with that. Two creams for coffee. And then for my treat that I'm making for my friends, I grabbed some Godiva semi-sweet chocolate to go with it. And then I grabbed a four pack of these apple juices. They're 100% apple juice. They're going to go with the little gift. I'll show you what I'm putting together. But that's it. That's all I really needed this week. And Well, actually, one more thing. I needed some jars, but they were out. So I'll go pick some up somewhere else. But that is it for the haul. All right, guys. We're going to try to do some organizing here. Since I have all of these eggs I wasn't planning on. 36, I have the room for. 60, uh, it's a little excessive for me. But, you know, what are we going to do? We're going to get them put away. So first off, I took what was left of my other eggs, and that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I suppose. Should we boil a dozen? We'll do 14. I don't know why. But I want to make egg salad. So what I do, put my eggs covered in water, or deviled eggs, put it on the back burner on high. I bring it to a boil, and then um, I let it sit for like 10 or 11 minutes after it's done boiling, like I just turn the stove off and let it sit, and then I um, douse it with ice water. I am a firm believer that the ice water is what um, helps the, the peel come off easier. That's me. All right, well, let's see what we got going on here. We have one dozen. Then after this, I think I'll cut up some cheese for the week. I picked up one more of those glass containers. Somebody had asked me where I get them. Um, I got it at Marshall's. Oop, that's not going to work. I get my glass containers at Marshall's or TJ Maxx, someplace like that. Okay. I mean, I guess we're going to figure this out. 12 and 12. Oh, wait. I've got enough containers. What am I? Silly? I have enough to hold four. Oh, no. This is 60. Ugh. I think I might be special needs today. I've got a sinus headache. Um, I also have a lot of veg from last week that didn't get eaten. So I'm going to try to focus on that this week. Um, some salami. Just trying to clean out my fridge before I go buy more food. And then I'm going to start cleaning out my freezer, guys. I've got a half a pig coming. I get these at the Dollar Tree, these egg containers, and I love them. Look out, guys. Um, I love them because I can see exactly what's in how many eggs I have. Oh, I want to show you. When I went to Lind Farm, this is the bucket of homemade garlic pickles I picked up. Oh, they are so good. I love pickles. All right, so the rest of the eggs, I'm just going to stick them in this container right here. Right? Or should I just boil them up? Maybe I should just boil them. We'll just cook them, and I'll eat a lot of hard-boiled eggs this week. How about that? We'll make egg salad, and we'll make... Um, Maybe some deviled eggs. Now, let me show, I'm rinsing here. Hold on one second. This is the size container I bought today. It's a small one that'll hold like lunch size for me, like a portion of lunch or something, especially if I take it on the go. All right, so this is done. 
got eggs boiling. When they come out, we'll take care of those. We'll get them all peeled up. And I'm going to eat a lot of hard-boiled eggs this week. Yes. All right. Okay, guys. We're going to end this night. Jody, lay down. With We're going to go through the clothes I purchased for fall. Please lay down. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be working from home. And I needed like more comfy casual stuff and less work stuff. So I went to Marshall's and I picked up these today. They are Love Love Streak, just plain old black joggers. And they were $7.99. I'm cutting off tags too. Now um, you're gonna notice that a lot of my clothes are black and gray. I have other colorful shirts and stuff. But I needed some basics. So these are just black joggers that, you know, comfy to work in. $7.99. Then I went to Kohl's. I ordered this, I think, from Kohl's. And I believe this one was $14.99. I think I took the tags off already. But it's just um, like a, a turtleneck tunic not overly thick I would say it's uh, probably the thickness of a t-shirt it does have a little thumb holes and it's a fitness exercise tech gear is the brand and this is in a charcoal gray so we'll put these I do have to launder these things first but I'm folding them up it's not quite ready yet um, I picked up these leggings at Marshall's and I know these were $14.99 they're an extra large and they are a gray and black heather just fitness oh my gosh I like pajamas Kaiden is the brand K-Y-D-A-N and I love them and they have a little pocket up here for like your keys but these are definitely yoga pants um, and they fit me on a good length too and the gray and gray heather these are pop fit and I already tried these on for you these are pop fit leggings I love them these are the capri length and their introductory offer was you got your first pair free you just paid shipping so I paid $14 for these notice the trend with all my black and gray <laughs> um, I grabbed these two pair of leggings from Kohl's they were $10 Plus a coupon they're seven eighths inch these are very thin I tend to wear these underneath like dresses or long tunics I can't remember price wise what they were after my coupons and discounts um, but I enjoy them they're really thin though they're great to travel with I will tell you that I'm just taking tags off guys tags all the tags yeah, and these are an extra large. All mine are extra large. Now, sometimes the extra larges don't fit me good. Just depends on the brand. Um, I did get these in gray and black. Again, they're the 7 8 length, so they're not cropped, but they certainly aren't capri either. And honestly, with my shortness and my legs, they fit me just like a regular pair of leggings would. So yeah, I'm not sure. These probably won't get a lot of wear unless I'm out and about. Um, I got two scarves. These came from the Target Dollar Spot this year. They were $5, but look. And these are triangular scarves in this plaid. You can wear them like that, like under something, go sideways and kind of wear them off like this. I love scarves especially if I'm cold and this one is like a navy a gold and a rust color and they are triangular you could also use these on your furniture and I got it in navy blue green and yellow so I grabbed two of those um, just feels warm and cozy um, these are from Kohl's and after coupons and discounts they were also $14 these are actually pajama pants they're in their pajama section. These are navy blue and white striped. Um, the regular price on these is $30. But 
I use a lot of coupons and discounts. These are more just lounge around the house for me. Not necessarily wear them out in public. I need to get a navy blue shirt to go with them. But I would consider these more pajamas than I would consider them, like wear them outside of the house. And then I ordered this shirt on Amazon. It was $26. Now, I did have to send the original one back and size up. The brand is V-I-S-L-I-L-Y, Visily. They had a lot of nice tops, but I love this one. It has buttons across up here. It's kind of long. There's pockets, and it's this really pretty berry color. And again, it's pretty thin. T-shirt material, three-quarter length sleeves, but it's a nice tunic length. Um, as short as my legs are, my torso is longer. Like I have a, a abnormally long torso and really short legs. So sometimes it's hard to find things. But I, this was a surprise when I ordered from Amazon. I was really prepared to have to send it back and not keep it. Um, this shirt was from Marshalls as well. Oops. And I'm just cutting tags again, guys. The brand on this is... Harmony and Balance. I think it's like a yoga shirt. It's like the baseball two colors, the black and gray sleeves, and then the gray and white body with a nice open key V at the front. Um, I upsized this to a 3X because I could just tell it's a women's cut, so it's tight in the middle, which is where I'm not tight. So I upsized this to a 3X. Typically I'm a two, but in a shirt that looks fitted for a woman, I will upsize. And it fits really well. I think I might have tried that on for you, but I'm not sure. Real thin again. I like the thinner shirts because I can then layer. Um, I got this shirt at Marshalls as well. And I know I tried this on. It was $19.99. And the brand is Vicky Macame. And it's a green or a green an orange a burnt orange sweater and I downsized this this is a 1x and I love the sleeves it's real tight down here at the wrist and this is a sweater I'll wear this with jeans and probably that scarf for that really fun fall go out vibe um where did I get this one I don't even know anymore guys Marshalls no yes maybe TJ Maxx on um, this one was TJ Maxx. Yes. $16.99. And the brand is Cable Engage Women. And this is a 2X. And I enjoy this a lot. A lot. It has the buttons that go all the way up, but I'm going to unbutton them. And it's hooded. And it's really super soft gray again, which look cute with black leggings. And the buttons are like a wood tone. And the buttons go all the way up here, but I will leave it unbuttoned and let it kind of flop open. And it's really soft. And this was TJ Maxx, $16.99. And the last shirt I got, again, was TJ Maxx. Apparently I did a lot of shopping that... Marshalls and TJ Maxx this year. For somebody who said, I don't need fall clothes, guys. I'm not even like going in the office. Yeah, oops. Okay. I mean, this is on with a safety pin. Which, by the way, I keep these little round bowl ended safety pins because they're great when I knit. So I keep those. They're uh, like a stitch marker. The brand on this is Jamie and Delaney. Jane and Delaney. And it is just a tunic in a denim color. Oh, I love it. It's super soft, like just your worn favorite pair of jeans. It's really nice on the inside and it's a nice long length. And this is also a 2X. Now, if you don't do any clothing shopping at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, I'm telling you, you're missing out on some pretty reasonably priced, more I would say of a high-end, high-end clothing 
then you're gonna get it like Walmart or something. Although I don't have any issues with Walmart clothing. This is just what I found when I was there. So that's pretty much my fall haul. I need to get out my fall clothing and see what's going on there. So that is everything. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you have a good night and I will talk to you later and so will Jody. Right, Jody? Yeah, she said she will too. Bye.